Hi, my name is Jesse Wagoner, and welcome to the Recharge Video Studio. Today I want to give you a little background about this ministry and also give you a little tour of our studio so you can see how we make these videos. First of all, uh, I started uh, several years ago experimenting with using video via s social media uh, to get encouraging messages and some many uh, scripture teachings out. The original version was called Drive Time Video, and I recorded all these while I was driving around uh, various places. Uh, in fact, if you visit our archive, you can see some of those old videos. Uh, we uh, transitioned into this, and uh, when I became pastor in 2011 at Mount Calvary Baptist Church here in Charleston, West Virginia, I wanted to continue this ministry to encourage our own congregation and others. So we had a spare room in the church, and we put together uh, the studio that I'm in. So uh, let me just take you on a little tour now and show you the backstory of how we make these. So this is our uh, studio room. It's actually just a room that uh, actually sits up uh, behind our main auditorium. And uh, let me uh, first of all go over the, the lighting setup. Uh, we have two, I don't know if you can see them if we get in here, the brand, but these are uh, Pro Studio Studio Lights. They each have a, a 200 watt incandescent bulb and it just uh, gives a uh, fill light right and left. And uh, then uh, up above is just a little uh, a compact fluorescent uh, bulb and a fixture that shines down, makes a hair light that uh, gives a little bit of light on the, um, on the um, speaker, which is me. And then back behind here, if I can get over here to show you this, is a light that lights our backdrop. It's just an old uh, studio light uh, with, a, uh, with some gels in front of it. Right now we're using the orange collar. And uh, then we just have this uh, black curtain that uh, hangs back here. The stand was made by some folks in the church. It's just a, a wood frame with a, a, a conduit pole put through it. And uh, then looking this way, this is what I see. There's a green screen. If we ever want to use the green screen, we can move in. And uh, I sit on this stool. I have a uh, stand for my Bible and any notes I may have. Uh, audio, good time to show you that. I just have uh, a little wireless mic. This is one that was taken out of service at our church. So I clip that on. The receiver actually sits down there in the floor. And a wire runs up uh, to feed the audio in. We also have a television. LCD flat panel that sits right there. So when I, this is basically my view when we're doing these, but I can, it's just a dummy picture there now because obviously we're not uh, making a video, but uh, I can see what uh, is on the screen. So I can frame it, make sure I'm in line, make sure everything is working. Uh, so I can pretty much operate uh, this myself. Uh, for recording, everything is done on an iPad. I use, a, I use an iPad Air 2, uh, but basically it sits right there as you can see and uh, it records everything. We do have an audio in, and uh, you do need a special connector, which you can kind of see it right there. The wire comes up from the wireless receiver, plugs in, because going into an iPad, rather than just being a, a two input, it's a three input, but you can get that little adapter online to uh, bring out external audio uh, right into your iPad. And then uh, there's the iPad. Also, I use a little clapperboard. I've used other things in the past, because an iPad does not have continuous focus in video. So in other words, whatever it focuses on when the video starts recording, that's what it stays focused on. So even though I don't move much in the video, I want the uh, focus to stay uh, uh, very stable. So I focus on uh, that clapper board, and it's uh, got a whiteboard so I can write on there. And it's, I think you can see the stand it's on. So uh, I push the red button on the iPad, get it recording, then uh, move, swing that clapperboard out of, out of the way. I sit down and start recording. And then obviously when we make the finished uh, video, we uh, clip out that uh, whiteboard and it being moved. So uh, that's, how, that's what the studio looks like. Very simple setup. I've uh, basically got everything run down to one power strip. So when I come in to start recording, I flip the power strip, the lights come on, the uh, monitor right there comes on, the iPad starts functioning, I'll just plug in the audio in. Also, I should also show you this, I'm not really making a video right now, but uh, this is, if I can get it up here in view, is a, um, um, uh, an adapter that plugs into your iPad there and then uh, takes an HDMI cable out, which runs over into the back of the, of the, uh, the monitor. And that puts the uh, video that you see on the iPad and also puts it on the back, so that's my preview monitor. So, 
basically the only gizmos you need is that uh, HDMI adapter you see there, the audio adapter that we already talked about, and uh, if you want the preview monitor, we, which we can use there. So basically it's a very simple setup, and uh, then afterwards I uh, take my iPad out. Oh, I should also show you this iPad tripod hookup. There's many of these available, but uh, basically just a standard tripod. But then there's this little um, tripod adapter you get so that the iPad can be fixed on to a tripod. And uh, that little circle right there is the uh, lens for the video. And you can shoot in full 1080p HD and uh, has lots of outputs. I should just talk about editing for just a moment. Uh, editing, I do all that on the iPad as well. Uh, I use an application called iMovie that's available in the App Store. And uh, iMovie is uh, very, very functional. In fact, most videos, I do everything in, in iMovie. I'm thinking uh, when I purchased it, it was like uh, four or five dollars, not very expensive app at all. I also have another app called Pinnacle Studio. Pinnacle Studio is a little more robust app. I think it costs uh, 12, 13 dollars, something like that, so still not very expensive. Basically, I only use it when I do picture-in-picture picture or uh, something like that. So um, it gives you the opportunity to do a little bit more. So, and then uh, upload, and then obviously uh, we distribute via Facebook through my podcast, um, also through YouTube. So people who are subscribers on YouTube can can uh, see the videos. Also, Facebook. There's a Facebook page. If you want to know any more, everything uh, is can be found and linked from uh, our website, which is just simply rechargevideo.com. Hope you've enjoyed this little backstage uh, uh, studio tour.